Hello Geminis, welcome back to the channel. It's Asin Tarot. So we're going to get into your read. This is going to be the no contact read. We're going to pull about six cards to see what the energy is, what the vibe is with the person that you are thinking about. This is someone that you could be with and you feel like something is off. This is someone that you could be separated from. Um, this could be a friendship. This could be a love situation. So let's just see what we have. I'm going to pull out some um, signs as well, I'm sure, to see what element this person is. And if it resonates with you, please comment down below. Support each other in the comments section and go ahead and thumbs up this video because the likes do matter here on the YT show support and love to all your youtubers and help their channel to grow by liking their videos every time they post for those of you who want to donate to the channel you sure can do that as well I do have my addresses down below my cash app my PayPal or you can just press the super thanks button okay um cross watchers are welcome and also flip this the rolls if necessary because energy is fluid and it might just show up in reverse okay all right so these are generals like i said not personal reads all that information is in the description box i have first day reading i have classes available as well all my classes and regular readings are held on saturdays but if you want a, a same day reading that rate is down below okay so let's just see here thank you holy spirit holy angels what's going on for gemini's the twins <laughs> energy what's happening for this energy that's coming through what's this person's energy who is thinking about gemini's and the person that gemini is thinking about right now okay Oh, so this one, there is going to be an opportunity that is coming up for you and this person, Gems, but I feel like you are stressed the hell out now, and I feel like it's because of fear of some kind of transition that is taking place with you and this energy. You have the nine here, okay, the nine of swords energy, which is also ruled by you, and we have the ace of wands. So you have the ace of wands, which is telling me that there is going to be a new beginning for you and this energy but um, I feel like this energy causes you a lot of depression a lot of fear a lot of anxiety a lot of not trust in your own intuition not trust in your own self and what you feel with inside right and the angels are telling you to make sure that you're putting yourself first within this relationship because there is some kind of issue going on within yourself where you're just not trusting in your yourself this person might just be putting you down making you feel bad or trying to manipulate you or play with your mind because the source is all about mind control and all about overthinking things and these are placed within your mind to have lack of self-esteem um, lack of love for yourself lack of self-awareness it's just all about you know just like reprogramming your mind from someone that was very strong and strong-minded and confident to someone that is at a low vibration um so be very careful with your energy be very careful where you share your energy i feel like a lot of you might be scared of people coming in i don't know if you guys can see that and mocking you and laughing at you um you're you're afraid of failure okay you're afraid of failure this is what i'm seeing here so tell me more about this energy there is going to be a new beginning coming through a lot of you could be finding out that you're pregnant and you're not happy about this either or you're with child or you're about to have a baby someone is pregnant <sighs> hmm wow yeah i'm getting the the knight of pentacles and tell me more thank you angel guides ancestors for being here and then we have the six of swords okay the six of swords is giving me an energy of moving on due to a transition changing your life around changing your routine your environment and some of you might be going as far as moving out of the country um, this is a big move. I'm not seeing like this is a small move. This could also be some of you deciding to move far away out of state, uh, out of the, 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 um, what is it? What is it called? The, um, the county or something. <laughs> um, but I'm just seeing like you're trying to distance yourself, right? And it's because you are with someone that, um, or you were with someone that, um, 
is just not giving you the stability that you truly want because you have the knight of pentacles in reverse and this person is not even planning to give you or show you that stability that you're looking for so i'm seeing that you're moving i'm seeing that you're taking that aquarius energy and you're moving far away or trying to distance yourself from this energy and look at that there is a separation going on a lot of you were really together with this person meaning that i'm seeing marriage or i'm seeing a family or some kind of family tree that was created between you and this person so you could have lived together and this is why the move is taking place or you could have had children together or some kind of um, strong bond that you have made together and now you it's being ripped apart so and i'm seeing that there is a split all right within the host in the household okay there's a split so tell me more this could also be divorced divorce tell me more wow you know you are not ready to love anyone right now you're so devastated i feel like you're healing yourself you're trying to move on from this situation you're trying to find a way to forgive this person so you can forgive yourself it's all about like forgiving this person because of you you're not forgiving this person because of them you're forgiving this person or trying to right now because of you like you feel like within yourself like you just have to do this you don't have any other choice okay and i'm seeing a lot of mourning a lot of sorrow so this energy is making you feel sad making you feel very low the five for me as a reader is low adversities and this is something that you signed up for for a soul involvement you needed to feel this instead of reading everything in the heavenly planes within heaven right instead of like experiencing experiencing it through other souls lives and reading a book right of their lives you wanted to come here and experience this low adversity of emotional roller coaster you wanted to feel how it felt to be in a relationship and not being wanted or having friends that are not given back to you or having family members we call soul family right that is just not there for you or not being a family that you pictured within your mind to receive within this life and you know you're just heartbroken you're heartbroken and you feel like at this moment that you have nothing else but your angel guys are revealing that you do you just don't see them yet because remember you have the five of cups three is spills and then two is behind you or two is still in the upright within this picture okay so you see the two cups here and it's always like that and then you see the three spills that mean your experiences that you had and then you have two other experiences that might just work out for you okay that you have there's not the end of the world it's not end of your world this is what i'm seeing here so you're not at this energy to move on yet emotionally but you're trying to you're trying to so hard i'm also seeing waiting for a new perspective within the page of wands but you haven't received it yet i'm also seeing capricorn energy so a lot of you could be with a capricorn moon a capricorn sun a capricorn rising or a capricorn um, Venus placement as well. Okay. This is what we have major arcana. All right. So this person that you're dealing with, I'm getting bad behavior. I'm getting bad choices. I'm getting toxic environment. I'm getting that this person, this person always act this way. This person doesn't want to leave this, this, the way that they're acting right now like they feel very comfortable in how they are and how they're presenting themselves in this manner this is what i'm getting and of course because this person is giving me toxic vibes this person is also giving me the page do you see it the page of cups so they will eventually come towards you and apologize to you and try to be in your life again and try to be your friend but just know this that you have the devil's energy and then you have this page of cups right so the devil's energy is giving me an energy of having this horrible way of saying things this horrible way of doing things and it's like they're just mad all the time so just know when this person comes out with their apology it's like so i'm sorry do you forgive me or what are you do you're gonna forgive me or what that's how they're going to present themselves to you gems um so be very very alert be very very prepared don't try to argue with this person because you're arguing with the wall right now look at the horns i mean look at those horns okay a lot of um 
stubbornness, okay? Any signs that have horns, you're, you're basically talking to the wall, okay? <laughs> basically talking to the wall. That's what I have for you right now. I hope you got something from that no contact read. This is how we're going to do the videos because I am on my break right now and I'm just going to do 10 minutes until I get home if I have the energy, okay? So hope you guys enjoy this. Um, if you want a reading with me, go ahead and email me at thescentarot at gmail.com. All that information is down below. Super like you guys for support or donations if you want to. And thank you for those of you who already have. I see you. I see you and go ahead and like the video and make sure your support support and gemini's thank you so much for liking your videos mwah, 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 mwah. i wish i can hug each and one of you i wish i can kiss each and one of you like pull you through the screen and just kiss you all and say thank you you guys humble me okay <laughs> you guys humble me so and i feel so grateful and so just i i can't forget my grace with you okay so thank you mwah. See you guys later. Bye, guys.